So it's not quite spring, but, but we saw a couple warmer days last week and you just may be itching to get your gardening game on. Jerry Goodspeed with USU Botanical Gardens is joining me to share a few things we should be doing right now to prepare. I've missed you. I've missed being it's here. Been a, I, I, it's been I, a while. When I think of Jerry, I think of his great, <clears throat> awesome, easy laugh. <laughs> there it is. There it is. And your steady hand and steady way in teaching us. Are people just like tapping their toes? Are you tapping your well, toes? Well, I am. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, ready. They are. Those Especially early... when you get those couple of warm days and you think, ah, it's yeah, time. Here it comes. It's not the ideal time. Or are we okay to wait a bit? What's the balance? Well, it, it kind of depends on where you live and what your soil is like. Yeah. More than anything else. Yeah. Let's start with soil because that's at the top of your checklist for us in terms. This is pre-spring gardening. This, this, is, this is getting us at least started. We're ahead of ourselves. We admit <clears> it, <throat> but we're happy to be there. So prepping the soil, you say, is something we can do now. Well, if, if it's dried out enough. I went out and checked some of our soils at the gardens and some of them are, are dry enough to work right now. If it doesn't rain then we're dry enough to work. And we tell that by just grabbing some soil and squeezing it. And you know, if you get a lot of water running out, then don't do it. Not it's time too yet. wet, yeah. If it is dry enough, what types of things can help? Well, we like to add any kind of organic matter. That's gonna be the best thing you can do. Um, for my home garden, I just have leaves. I just work the leaves in. I leave them out there every fall, and then this time of the year, I try to work them in. But you can go to your local garden center and get compost, get uh, seasoned manure, and those types of things, and they all work good. Just work them into your garden. And the benefits will be what? I do this now, what will I see later? Well, what'll happen is you'll have, um, it'll, it'll create better drainage, better structure for your soil. Your soil starts to, we like structure in the soil. The plants love structure in the soil, and you gotta have that. And those are some of the benefits that you have, but there's a lot. You get some extra nutrients, it's easier to work your soil, you know, those types of things. This next checklist item is something we can do no matter the status of our <clears> soil or no matter the weather. We can dream, we can plan the garden, what's going to happen, what it's going to look like, what I'm going to do. I like to do that. I, I, and it doesn't take much. Sometimes I've seen some people who have all the really fine detail where every plant is. I don't. Okay. I just do a general, this is where the um, squash will go, this is where the corn or beans or whatever it is will go. And I keep that because then when I go to the store, go to the nursery, I know how much seed I need. I'm not mm. guessing. I say, okay, I need enough seed for 40 square feet of carrots, whatever it is you're, you're growing. It's an estimation. We're being efficient about it. Is this what you use? Yeah, this is mine at my house. And I have some four raised beds. But, and the other good thing about this is the next year, I pull that out sure. and I can rotate some things sure. around and move them around. So yeah. I feel like this is the next stage of my growing up. Like once I have a plan <laughs> like this, I'm going to level up is as an adult, the... <laughs> you know, an adult with a real yard, a real garden, oh, a real plan, something to do. Uh, your next tip is we can start purchasing seeds. You can. They're out there. Uh, I've, I've walked through a number of nurseries this week. So yeah, go out and once you have your plan and you know what you want to buy and now you kind of know how much you want to buy so now you can go out and start getting your seeds and this is actually a pretty good time to get them before they get sold out on the, on the one that you want you yeah. know? and I have done that I've waited and waited and thought well I don't have to plant you know my beans until May but then I go in in May and they're all gone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so this is really a good time to go out to the nurseries. What crops can we plant early maybe not this early but here soon? Well actually we can plant some right now peas okay. can go in right now Okay. And I have a number of people that I know that's, that it's clockwork. The first of March, I plant my peas. In the ground. In the ground. Mm -hmm. Onions also. Onions can be planted in the ground right now. And give it about two to three weeks, and then we're going to start looking at our, our coal crops. We'll start looking at our lettuces, our spinach, you know, the, the, what we call our hardy vegetables. And we can get them in the ground. Do we want to do them all starting from seeds or starters? That's a good question. Uh, it kind of depends on the plant itself. I like to do as much seed as I can because then I can get the varieties I want. Okay. However, if, if, you don't, if you're not equipped for that, if you don't want to start your own plants, then you're going to wait, go down to the nursery and see what they have for their starters later in the year. And are we planting in pots or in the actual garden? Well, if, if you're with the transplants, I'm moving them right to the garden. Moving them in. If I'm starting from seed and I, and I say I want to start my tomatoes the end of March, then I'm gonna put them in a pot in the house. I'm gonna get them growing so that come the first part of May, 
I got a plant. <laughs> you want those hands in the ground. A lot of people share that same sentiment and that building excitement. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. It's coming. Well, I hope you'll stay on the line with us this season. I will. And help us make our yards and our gardens as successful and beautiful as possible. In the meantime, your website is a great resource. Yep. There's, a, there's the Botanical Center, USU Botanical Center. There's also Yard and Garden from Extension. Both of those websites are good. All right, Jerry, thank you. And it's nice to be back. For getting that early itch in. We love it so much.